Welcome to Idency's Anvis C2 Pro installation and user setup guide. Introduction In this video we will show you how to initially set up your time and attendance device and connect it to the clock report software. Powering the device to power the device, you need to connect the power supply that comes with the C2 Pro. To do this, on the back of the device there are two connectors, one for the power cable and one for the Ethernet cable. Remove the cover to access them, both are labelled. Basic controls of the device are as follows. Button M works as a back button, it will take you back to the previous menu. The OK button works as select or enter. The up, down, left and right arrows work for navigating around the menus. And finally the backwards arrow button works as an erase. Configuring the device. To begin with we shall configure the Ethernet connection. First go into the menu using the M button, enter the administrator login and the default admin ID is 0, and then press OK and proceed to enter the default password which is 12345. Once in the main menu, go to the network icon using the arrow buttons and pressing OK to enter. Enter Ethernet and then the option should be set to active. The retrieve IP mode should be set to static. Fill in the subnet mask and gateway to be the same as your network. If you do not know how to do this, run ipconfig from the command line on your computer. Make sure that the device IP is set to one specifically allocated to this device. Go back to the main menu by pressing the M button twice and navigate to the settings icon. Then proceed to device using the arrows and OK button. Once you're on the device screen, set the device ID to a specific value for this device. If this is your first device, set it to 1. However, if it's your second device, then 2, third device 3, etc. Once this is done, we need to go back to the computer or server so that we compare the device to the software clock reports. Connecting to clock reports. Now that the Anvis C2 Pro is on your network and clock reports is installed on the computer, they can both be paired together. When clock reports is opened and no devices are connected, it will always open with the add device pop-up. To connect the Anvis C2 Pro we need to make clock reports think that we are using a different device. The device we will need to choose from the list is the Anvis OA1000. As currently the Anvis C2 Pro isn't on the list of devices on the software at this current time. Now enter the serial number of your device. You can find it on the back side of the Anvis C2 Pro near the connectors. Once you have entered the serial number press submit to proceed to the next step. Device Setup in Clock Reports Once you are at the Device Setup screen, you will need to now change the settings so they will work with the C2 Pro. To do this, change the communication method from USB to Network. On this screen, you can put the IP address and location of the device in the field so that Clock Reports can pair with the device. Do not change the Device ID number. The only time the device ID number needs to be changed is if you are using more than one clocking device. Once you have entered in all the information correctly, click save and then proceed to click on sync device. It will show that it is connecting to the Anvis C2 Pro successfully on the screen and download any data that has already been entered if set up correctly. For more information please contact us at IDENCY on 01252 727 103 or visit our website at IDENCY.com. You can also request a written Anvis C2 Pro setup guide from us.